guys, today we are going to be creating a wire sculpture that is 3D, and we're going to be creating a small tree. To do this, the very first thing you're going to need to do is cut 12 pieces of wire to about 10 inches. So I would get a ruler, get your wire cutters, and clip 10 pieces of wire, I'm sorry, 12 pieces of wire. Once you start getting this going, you can kind of measure that by that first piece and cut. We're going to get 12 pieces that are about 10 inches. I have all 12 of my pieces, and you can see that it takes pretty much the entire thing of wire off the spool if it was brand new. And you don't have to use all the same color. I did, but you could use different colors of wire together if you wanted to. So once you have all 12, you're going to kind of bunch them together. And the very first thing you're going to do is kind of think about this as a tree. So down here are our roots. Up here are the rest of our branches. So we're going to just kind of clip with our thumb thinking about how this is a bigger area, and we're just gonna start twisting this top area here, leaving this bottom area for our roots that we're going to attach to a rock. You may have seen this before. Typically, if you have, have seen tutorials on creating like bonsai trees out of wire, they typically use about 60 wires, uh, pieces of wire. We're using 12, so just keep that in mind. It's gonna be a much smaller version. All right, so once you kind of have this middle part twisted, we can think about that as our trunk. We're gonna start separating this into branches. So you can do this in lots of different ways, but you're gonna to wanna to kind of separate them into either threes or twos, however you wanna do it. So I'm gonna like separate this out and then I'm gonna to continue to like twist. So I have some longer branches at the, like more of the base of the tree. And as I come up, I'm going to have shorter ones. So I'm going to start separating them out. And again, we can cut these smaller as we go. All right, so I have all my branches of my tree. You can see that I kind of clipped some, some places, but really what you want is like longer branches towards the bottom and then kind of shorter as you come up. And you can also see how if you had a lot more wire, you could create a lot more branches and your tree could be a lot more three-dimensional. But for this activity, this is just to get you an idea of how to do it. Next thing you want to do is grab a base. There's lots of different rocks and stuff you can use. I'm going to use this green stone. Um, and you kind of need to flare out the root section. Now you can do this in a couple different ways, but I'm going to spread the roots out like throughout my rocks. So they're kind of going in the back and the front and everywhere. And you can also do this in a different, couple different ways. Like you can wrap the wire if you want the roots to look, have like more twisted, or you can kind of leave them straight. It doesn't really matter. Now, depending on the structure that you're draping on, you're probably going to need to clip some of the excess off the bottom so that you don't have a whole lot of overhang here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna kind of hold this, and I'm just gonna clip so it kind of just goes right towards the bottom of my base so I don't have a lot of hanging over space. So kind of wrap and then lightly clip. What you're gonna to wanna to do is kind of create some areas where it can wrap and it kind of creates an area where it can stay on the rock. At what point you can use some glue in certain areas where it's like actually touching the rock and just create some areas where you can get a little bit of, of this clear glue on here. That's gonna help just secure things a little bit. You could also use hot glue to do this. You just need to be careful that you don't burn your hand. So just by applying just a little bit of glue, it's gonna help it kind of stay on the base. And then you got this cute little whoa, tree sculpture and you can, you know, mess with how the um, trunk looks and you can mess with how the branches look. If you wanna like curve and bend it over more, you could certainly do that so it is however you want it to be. Finally, if you wanted to, you could add some sort of little leaf structures made out of wire or some other material. If you wanted to add it to your tree, you can go ahead and do that if you have time. 